Beethoven's art became increasingly private after 1815. He turned again to the piano sonata and produced a series of works which must have seemed puzzlingly eccentric to his contemporaries. This, opus 111, is the last of them. Side by side are long, harsh fugues, moments of uneasy stillness, episodes of violent energy, prolonged trills, strange effects with the hands sometimes far apart, producing a curiously hollow resonance. Those are fully able to hear might have hesitated to write such strange sounds. If Beethoven heard them at all, other than in his imagination, it was only in a weird and distorted form thanks to specially made gadgets. To mitigate his deafness, he tried a variety of ingenious improvements on the traditional ear trumpet. The most sophisticated of these incorporated a brass sounding box, encasing the end of an ear trumpet long enough to rest on the piano. Like a tiny tin bath, this was intended to amplify the music, which would then be carried up the trumpet to his ear. At the other end, a headband was attached, so that he could sit at the keyboard with his hands free to play or write, rather like a modern telephonist. <laughs> 